and welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics, is if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I've been trying to eat higher protein and I find it a struggle because I really don't love meat. I know you guys see me make a lot of meat, but that's because like my husband thinks like a meat and vegetable does a meal make. So I make meat, but I don't love it. It's not my favorite thing. And I struggle to get my protein. So this really cute girl in here, I'll tag her um, in the caption who was saying that high protein doesn't have to be complicated and she made a high protein grilled cheese. And I was like, how is she making a high protein grilled cheese? There's no way because those cheese slices do not have enough protein in them. So I got exactly what she got and we're gonna do it and we're gonna try it and we're gonna see. So she skid the Trader Joe's sourdough and I didn't know this, but this sourdough bread is four grams of protein per slice. So this is eight grams of protein just for the bread. Amazing. And she used sharp cheddar and I don't know if she used this sharp cheddar or I think she used this sharp cheddar or this light cheddar. So I got both of them to try. This one is seven grams per slice. She used four slices, okay? Seven, 14, 21, 28. So that's 28 grams plus eight grams, 36 grams, is that right, of protein? Or this one, which is the light cheddar, which is the one I'm gonna try today because I've never, this I know is delicious. This I've never tried before. This is eight grams of protein per slice, plus it's less fat and it's less calories because it's like a reduced fat, reduced calories situation. So I was like, why not? If it tastes good, why not? So this one's eight grams per slice. So if you use four slices, eight, 16, 24, 32, plus eight is 40 grams of protein for a grilled cheese sandwich, 40 grams. That's crazy, that's like a third of the way to my protein goal. So let's try it. The thing about adding more protein is you get full like so much faster. When she said she put four slices of cheese, I've never put four slices of cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich. And I'm like, am I gonna be able to eat that? That sounds like it's gonna be a lot. And it is, it's 40 grams of protein, so it is a lot. So we're about to see. But the bread is nice and big, so I think it won't be like overwhelming to the bread because I think you have to be a little bit worried about that. If you use like a flimsy, you know, damsel in distress bread, she's probably gonna fall apart on you with four slices of cheese, right? But how wild to think that this right here, this little unassuming little thing right here is gonna be 40 grams of protein when we're finished. How crazy. So I have a small um, frying pan and I'm warming it up on the stove and I'm gonna put some butter in it. Now another option, if you don't like to do it like that, is you could put the butter on the outside here. You could spread butter here, spread butter here, and then do it. I just felt like it's messy. So I just melt the butter right in the pan and I put it in there, I'll show you. I've got my tablespoon of butter in here and I'm gonna set my sandwich on top. Now, the temptation is to turn this up high and you're gonna get a great crispy deliciousness on the side. The issue is the cheese isn't gonna melt, right? So what you really wanna do with a grilled cheese is try to go low and slow and give the heat time to penetrate through the slice of bread, through the cheese, through to the other side. If you do it too high, the bread is gonna get toasted long before this gets melted. So a great grilled cheese is a patience thing. Now I know some people do a toasty where they put it in the toaster and that's great and you can do that and that's gonna save you the butter. To me, it doesn't taste as good. Uh, we'll try one in the air fryer and we'll see, but we're gonna first try it the way God intended, which is in a delicious pan. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to flip because we have crispy deliciousness on the back side. I swear, I promise. I'm gonna set it to the side for a second because I only have one hand because I'm holding my phone with the other hand. I wanna put butter in the pan to do the back side. You're not gonna get any brownness if you have no fat in there. You gotta put a little butter, right? And then, oh, how am I gonna do this with one hand? Uh, hubba! Oh my God, we did it. Look at us. Look at us. Look at this. Oh, that look good. How do they do? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Crispy goodness. Okay. Again, we want the cheese to melt. So don't rush. I've got this on like medium low heat. Okay. Be back. Look at this melty gooey goodness. Like that's patience. That's what patience. I've never been more excited to try a high protein meal in my entire freaking life. Okay. It's like super hot. So let's hope we don't like smash it. Um, my tip for cutting through toasty things is a serrated knife. Um, a serrated knife always will help you get through bread, toasty things. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Serrated knife is like the knife that has little teeth all over it. This one's a bread knife. Mm. I'm so excited. I can't believe this is 40 grams of protein. Like, is this for real? Look, look at this. And this is the, like, lighter cheese. The, like... 
Mm. You hear the crunch? Mmm. Delicious. I don't think the cheese ratio of four slices is overwhelming it, but it's definitely cheesy. I'm thinking maybe next time doing a little mix of cheeses, maybe two slices of the sharp and two slices of this. But honestly, 40 grams of protein. This is so delicious. So simple. I mean, add a little roasted tomato soup. Just so easy. We made it on here before. I can make it again if you guys want. And this is like, oh, I mean, sometimes you just want a grilled cheese sandwich, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> I love you guys. You know what we're gonna make next? Tuna melt. That will like boost this protein like out of the stratosphere and it's delicious. So, hello. Mm. Sorry, I'm just, I'm getting my protein in. 